Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Cruise Brothers React. React. I'm Johnny. And I'm Chris. And we're here for our Mob Cycle Season 3, Episode 1 Reaction. We watched this show back when it first came out, and uh, it was one of the earliest reactions on this channel. And we've been doing this for like five years, bro. So I'm happy to see Mob Cycle finally making a return. And I was doing a little, you know, rewatching of it in dub, yo. And honestly, bro, it's really mad funny in dub. And I forgot how funny this series actually is, so I'm excited for that shit. Wait, so what are you trying to say? I'm saying that the dub is better. That's like that. <laughs> but only for comedy stuff. I feel like, personally, for me, I like watching it in dub. And the dub voice actors are really good. Nobody That's knows what spirits are, Johnny. Look at these This things, is a right? cool concept, too. Psychics. A psychic show. What the hell? There's schools that studies UFOs? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking give a fuck about his future. I got like old as hell too. <laughs> Yuzu Pepper High School. His girlfriend. <laughs> She's obviously in there. I like how they showed all their ranks too. They're mad low. It's fucked up that they always do her friends that way. <laughs> Only because they're standing next to her. Progress towards mob explosion. You got, got a little excited, man. You know what that means. Man, do you want to take advice from this man? Look what he's doing with his life. Scamming people. This motherfucker talking about a whole company in the future. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. <laughs> yeah, who would think of that? <laughs> For real. You know, the funny thing is, I think Mob already knows at this point. He still admires him for different reasons, though. Hey, look who it is. What was that? This guy was. So, this guy was uh, in Claw. He was like one of the top five psychics or whatever, and like Mob didn't even have to fight him. He just talked to him. He did talk no jutsu on him, bro. And the Mob, uh, the claw boss, literally, you know, kind of manipulated him. He was just a shut in who got manipulated. So now he's working for Reagan. Pretty cool that this guy got a job. He was just like a otaku or whatever, shut in. <laughs> he's younger than that guy. Oh yeah, less, less life experience. What is that thing? <laughs> Bro, that shit would give me nightmares too. 80,000? <laughs> yeah, we got played. <laughs> I don't see a fucking thing on the bottom. Uh oh, that thing might be actually haunted. Is it the real deal? Oh shit, there is something in that thing. Or is Mob playing into the scam here? Yo, Mob. Maybe Mob is a pro already. For real. This is like, bro, this is like tag, bro. They're fucking, they're finessing this. <laughs> For real, you didn't say nothing. I knew it's a test. <laughs> Exercise. Guy... Oh, he actually is a psychic, though. He can yeah. do that. <laughs> Bro, he, Regan, Reagan is training a, a, a psychic fucking clan of people to make money. <laughs> For real. He was, one of the, he was one of the top five, yeah. He's legit. Tuna and mayonnaise? What are you gonna fucking stick it back together with tuna and mayonnaise? You couldn't use glue? Why spray Big Bang? <laughs> Bro, you couldn't use glue? A special attack, Johnny. Oh my god. <laughs> the potential of the rice grain to the fullest extent. Oh, magician. Mm -hmm. Disrespect. <laughs> he disrespect his and his abilities. They don't bro. respect magicians. Magicians are hacks, man. Fake, fake magic users. Yeah, but he's real. Exactly. 
put some respect on his name. <laughs> he has no future. Bro, I thought they were already in high school. What is this? Grammar school? <laughs> yeah, the stuff the fuck. They look it's even more ridiculous how they look. Oh, that guy's ranked two. What? That guy's smart as hell. Is that something from the last season, that tree, or is uh... Yeah, so basically, Mob had a some broccoli seeds in his pocket during the fight and like when the explosion happened with the ma uh, claw leader it literally like made it grow 10 times mm. from his, his fucking stupid <laughs> hey man that broccoli's fucking spiritual tree could feed the whole civilization <laughs> that was an eerie uh <laughs> Oh shit, it's ice cream. Fuck is this? He like making him scared as hell. <laughs> Look at him. This guy a hoarder, yo. Where are you telling here? Ew! <laughs> it enlarged them too for the draw, yo. Ew. <laughs> this motherfucker is trying so hard not to say nothing. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is, uh, what did they call those? The losers in Japan who don't need their out, don't have a job. Uh, neat, or something like that. That's what this man is, bro. <laughs> it's the way my new girlfriend, oh my. This guy blaming, oh, this guy blaming all his misfortunes on fucking spirits. <laughs> <laughs> These look like life choices, my boy. <laughs> Man sleeps in a barrier of trash. Mm. Oh, yeah, that scared me. <laughs> Shit about to fly at your ass. <laughs> Why did he still pull? Damn, bro, he never had any hair. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yo. Motherfucker, well, gonna get some cleaning supplies. Wants <laughs> to throw up, man. This is the deepest depression. Ah, <laughs> uh, this guy was kind of the same, wasn't he? Always oh, playing video games in his room in the dark. They're all fucking like. Uh... <laughs> Yo, the, the depression is rubbing off on them. They're being pessimistic now, too. Yo, the fucking fuel. <laughs> this place is creating something, bro. Oh, wow. This the shit. The fuck is this? It's a smog monster, Chris. Yo, this shit is putting people to sleep. That shit is all foul. Probably emitting a foul smell. <laughs> Evil spirits hate clean rooms. I mean, this one might. What the fuck is this? That thing is huge. Maybe he wasn't uh, lying, Chris. Double hydrogen water mist. <laughs> Bro, what are you trying to clean the air? <laughs> You guys not realize what's going on? <laughs> there gets monster in the air. You guys are just letting this shit happen. <laughs> I wonder what. I, I, there's gotta be a spirit, bro. Yeah, they about to double team that shit. <laughs> hey, yo, the power of mob. Look at the. <laughs> oh shit! Gosh, I love the effects in this show. For real. There's two of them now, Chris. This reminds me of JoJo a little bit too. Like the yeah. colors. This is uh, written by the One Punch Man writer. Where'd that shit go? That shit is disintegrated. And now his head is balder than ever. <laughs> Look, the, he's not being um haunted anymore. Now he can live his life better. Yeah. Maybe that shit was making him lazy. <laughs> Weekly Shonen. This motherfucker gonna go right back to doing the same shit. <laughs> Been the same. Yeah, he just that shit made him have a fucking revelation about his own life. Having a midlife crisis. 
Bro, he he's been thinking about this all day, about what his future is. Scared of making a mistake. He's scared to choose a path because he doesn't want to fail. Yeah. Traveler. <laughs> this man just literally really? went along with whatever the fuck he said. You know how many people fucking told him things and he's the first person he listened to? Bro, I mean, honestly, I think he was just looking for direction. And that guidance counselor gave it to him. For real. They get too comfortable. Damn, that's some fucking some some wise thinking by mob. Yeah, bro, you always gotta like try to break out of your comfort zone. Damn, that's cool. He's saying I won't work here forever, man. I got bored at my old job. <laughs> I saw it be sometimes, bro. But he stuck through it because of him, bro. That's cool that he stuck with it because of mob. Yeah. It's like it's almost like a sign for him. It, it meant to be to keep going and doing this, and this is his true path. <laughs> you got another psychic on your on your payroll now. <laughs> Work. <laughs> they made it mad inspirational. <laughs> That's so funny. That man can leave work whenever he wants to, bro. He's the star. Yo, that Yo, broccoli, bro. That shit is weird. What the man. fuck is wrong with this broccoli, man? What the hell's Dimple doing, man? He's the next villain. No, Johnny. he's gonna take control of the broccoli. Yeah, I, I really like the show, bro. It does give me those One Punch Man vibes, but at the same time, it's like a very it has more a, serious. It's more. Yeah, it's more uh s serious um kind of uh um like lessons they're giving you in, in within it, and it's just like it feels more uh just more serious in general. Relatable. You know, yeah, or, it's more relatable, know. I guess. Yeah, you can say. Yeah. Um, and in, 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 in a lot of the scenes that they give you, it's not just humor, you know. I, I like the humor; it's definitely there, but they mix it with actual uh, morals and um, yeah, uh, cool plus stories, action you know? as well too. So they give you all that good stuff. It's really just a wholesome show. But uh, it's, it's a little cool. like it's a little bit of slice of life, and uh, the fact that it's so relatable, it's like the show doesn't need to rely on like a super main villain uh, yeah. all the time, yeah, yeah, like yeah. some other shonens or whatever do. That's so. Right. That's what I I like about this show actually. So that's uh what makes it so. I, it, when, when you that. bro, when you can have a character where you can just watch it and enjoy it for the characters themselves, then that's when you know those characters are really well written. Yeah. Uh, I give this episode a four point six out of five. Four point six out of five. Yeah, I give somewhere it around there. I give it a four point five. Definitely solid. Yeah, good stuff, guys. Let us know what you thought. Make sure to do the YouTube things. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications to get notified when we upload to YouTube. Uh, and pledge to our Patreon if you want these reactions earlier than YouTube gets them and in full length. We'll catch you guys for the next episode of Mob Psycho 103. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.